welcome to the, a good review of uh, the new album Shady X V. Let's get straight to it. I'm gonna review both the CDs, but the second CD is gonna be quicker because they're old songs. Let's get started. First track is Eminem, Shady X V. This song is pretty good. Uh, I like the part where he says that he would make a whack response to Kendrick Lamar's control verse. Um, beat's okay. I'm not really feeling the beat. He's too fast. That's my problem with this song. It's way too fast and way too offbeat. Um, it's an okay song. Uh, I like the part where he does that shit with his nose and make it make himself sound like the young Eminem, which he should do. Uh, okay song. I like the part where he mentions Action Bronson and a whole bunch of other white rappers. It's an okay song. Yeah. Track two. Psychopathic Killer, Eminem, Yellow Wolf, and Slaughterhouse. This is a pretty good song. Uh, Eminem has a good verse. Uh, everybody in Slaughterhouse has a really good verse. The chorus is awesome. Uh, really good song, really good beat. Just an awesome song overall. Track 3. Die Alone, Feed Kobe, and of course Eminem's in it. Don't, re don't really like this song. Talks about it. Talks about Kim again. Like he hasn't done it in one album yet. He just talks about it every fucking album. Uh, hate this song. The chorus is shitty. The flow is pretty good, but other than that, it's just it's just a horrible song. If you like the recovery, or if you like it as a subject of talking about Kim, you'll probably like this song. Track four, Bad Meets Evil, Vegas. This is probably one of the best songs on the album. Definitely want Bad Meets Evil to come back and do a uh, another EP. My favorite part of the song is when Eminem does the Versace Versace part and then he talks about raping Iggy Azalea because, you know, we need some controversy in hip hop instead of these fucking assholes talking about bitches all day. Uh, yeah, Iggy Azalea did respond. It's crazy ass shit. Good good chorus. Um, I'm glad the chorus is just straightforward, no stupid long singing shit because I hate that shit. This is the, the best part about this song is the rapping. Worst of Five Nights verse when he comes in. Really good verse. Really like it. Awesome song. Track five, Slaughterhouse. You already know. This is a pretty good song. I don't really listen to Slaughterhouse, but this is a good song to listen to. Everybody on here has a good verse, really good verse. Beats good. It's not a bullshit beat. It's like a piano type beat. Really good song. Of course, it's really good because it's short and it's not too fucking long. Good song. Track six, Eminem, Guts Over Fear, Pcia. Um, this song is pretty good. With the first listen, but really don't like it. I'm tired of it because it's, it's all I jammed when it came out. Uh, don't really like it. If you like recovery, you'll like this song, but I really don't like it because it's just like I don't know. He's using bullshit chorus female singers again, and it's hard to understand what the fuck she's saying. But he's on point on the beat. I like the subject he talks about, but don't really like the song. I think it's not that good. Track 7, Yellow Wolf, Down. This is a pretty good song. Pretty good song by Yellow Wolf. Um, now, I'll be honest here. I didn't listen to the full song. But, I did hear the snippet version. I can say that um, it's it's a good song. Good beat, good lyrics, uh, good verse. I didn't listen to the full version. But, I just want to get a review out for people. That way, you know, it's like, hey, there's a review. Let's watch it. Because, you know... You want to see what people think of it. So, I'm just going to assume Down is a good song. I only heard the snippet. I didn't have time to listen to the full version. Track 8, D12 with Bane. This is a really good song. I like everybody's verse in here. Bizarre's is probably the best. Um, basically talks about them being immortal, I guess, and being involved with drugs is Bane. I don't know why Eminem wasn't on the song. I mean, it's fucking D12. Come on now. Uh, good song. The beat is awesome. Good chorus. Just Eminem should have been in it because it's D12. Track 9, Eminem Fine Line. This is probably one of the best songs on here next to uh, Vegas. Really do like uh, Fine Line. The beat is awesome. Vegas talks about being stuck inside the house, going to go to Target. Chorus is awesome. Love the damn chorus. It sounds like a fucking 90s Dracula movie, some crazy shit. Good song. Uh, yeah, I love, love the song Fine Line. Badass song. Track 10, Skylar Grey, Eminem, and Yellow Wolf, Twisted. This is a horrible song. Just straight 
garbage. I hate this song. It's nothing but fucking singing for like the whole track. And then Yellow Wolf does the rap first, and then he starts singing. Red Wolf starts singing. Horrible song. Just they just talk about some girl being twisted. I guess that chorus, that Scarlet Gray song. I it's the only part I liked. Cause I would have rolled. I would have rolled with that Scarlet Gray hook, and then just had him in a Yellow Wolf rap. But that's not the case, which sucks ass. So horrible song. But if you like, I guess singing songs. You might dig that one, but I hate it. Track 11, Eminent, right for me. Uh, not really feeling the song because, again, Eminent's flow is all over the place. So just because I say it's all over the place, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just he's not. His flow is not attached to the beat, and that's what rap is. Your flow stays on the beat, not fucking going past it. You should have just used a different beat if you want to do this type of flow, you know? So, right for me, don't really like the song. Chorus is hard to fucking understand. Uh, lyrics are okay, rapping is okay, but really don't like that song. And then we get to the last track of the first CD. Eminem, P. Worst of 5'9", Big Sean, Danny Brown, DJ Loaf, Trick Trick, Detroit vs. Everybody. Um, chorus sounds like it was sung by a lesbian. Uh, I wish Trick Trick would have had a verse, because he's awesome. I wish Obi Trice was on here. I hope when Trick Trick does a remix of the song, he gets Obi Trice. So... Verse of 5 9 is probably my favorite verse. He had a good verse. Big Sean uh, had a good verse. It's definitely better than the other shit he's doing. Danny Brown had a horrible verse. But just think, thank God that it's a short verse. If it would have been as long as Big Sean's or Eminem's, if it was that long as theirs, it would have sucked. But at least his verse is short. You know what I mean? Eminem's verse was good, although it was hard to understand. Like the part we talked about uh, potato peeler stabbing somebody and shit. Okay, verse. So, overall, the first CD, I'm going to give it a uh, 7 out of 10. There's a few songs I didn't like, but there was a few songs I did like. So, it's an alright song. But, uh, you know, it's not, I, mean, I, mean, I mean it's an alright CD. So, uh, you let me know what you think of the first CD. Now we're going to get into the second CD. And, uh, yeah. See you in the next video. Make sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe.